And it is Cortez, who that Blue Jay starting lineup is going to face. So a big game for him, a big game for the Yankees as they have to stop this losing streak and get back to their winning ways. So Bo Bichette will get the lead off here for Cortez. Looking for his first hit on the road trip. There's a drive to left field. Get out of here and gone. Bo Bichette has jump started the offense once again. That's the 19th home run the Blue Jays have hit at Yankee Stadium this season. They've out homered the Yanks 19 to 5. It may be again a little different look leading off of a ball game instead of hitting fourth maybe a little bit higher gives him a different look and maybe it'll work out Cortez has had a lot of success this year against right handed batters 28th start of the season for Jose Barrios she can't pitch much better than he has his last couple of starts he takes his 10 7 3 55 earn run average into this game. And they go right back to that same spot and get a pop up. Vladdy is there, and that'll do it. Nice job by Jose Barrios. I'm like, how's this guy hitting 217? This guy has uh, been tough on the Jays. Well, right there, he got fooled badly on a curveball from Barrios and waved at the ball that bounced on home plate. Quick feet, quick move to first. That was a base hit to right field for Judge. A lot of room on that right side. Urshela will stop at second. Well, if you're in judge, this is uh, an option every single time somebody is on first base with that huge hole on the right side. He jammed him right there. Bo comes after it, makes the play, and that'll do it. The Yankees get a couple of singles, but they strand a pair. Barrios makes another good pitch on Anthony Rizzo. Only has one strikeout. That was uh, Brett Gardner in the third. Another change up. That's a fair ball. That's going to go all the way to the wall. And Stanton is around first. He better hurry up. The close play, and he's safe. Boy, Stanton just looked like he was jogging around first, and Gurriel's got a terrific arm, and he made it close at second. Throw beat him by a mile, also, and and Marcus had some time to to drop that glove down. Let's see. He's there. Boy, it sure looked like he he got him on that knee. I hope they show that one replay. He tagged him on the leg before that hand tagged the bag. So we'll see. Absolutely. Good job by the replay, and Gurriel celebrates another outfield assist, his 12th of the season. Randall's 0 for 1. He flied to right his first time up. 3-2 pitch to Gritchick is hit high in the air, out to deep left field. Gallo turns and watches it go. Randall Gritchick unloads his 22nd of the season. Deep into the seats in left field. And it's 2-0 Blue Jays. The second solo home run of the night for Toronto. It's their 20th home run at Yankee Stadium this season. And it's 2 nothing Blue Jays. Oh, what a pick by Urshela. Took a hit away from Smith. Two away. That's why they call it the hot corner. Coming in hot. Urshela made that look easy. On the short Seeing him getting some games under his belt all of a sudden you know he's knocking the rust off he's getting back to where you know he looks comfortable defensively and I don't think they're going to start the runner here Sanchez is not running and there's a ground ball Barrios goes to second right on the money to Mo. Boy, what a nice throw by the pitcher do that you're going to win your share of games. There's a fly ball to left field, hit hard. Gurriel back, makes a nice running catch. He was shaded in that direction, but he was shallow. He had to turn and burn, and he runs it down to take a hit away from Gardner. There's Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo is 0 for 2, fouled out to third, and then grounded softly to second. Drill deep to right field. There it goes. See ya. Tie game. A two run home run to tie the game. Rizzo rakes into the right field seats. <laughs> Nobody beats the Riz. It's a two run blast.
And the Yankees tie the game at two. And there was no doubt about that. Hernandez never moved. Never moved. He just watched it as it flew over his head. A couple more hits, including a leadoff home run in the first. He's got another multi-hit game. Well, goes after the first pitch. That's going to get down for a base hit, and Jansen's going to come in to score. There'll be no throw. Lamb goes to third as Bo comes through once again. His third hit of the ball game puts the Blue Jays back out in front. And it brings Bo Bichette to the plate. He was hitless in the first three games of this series. But he's had a good one tonight. Reaches out on that slider. Guesses right on that slider. This is a big spot. Yankee offense has been sluggish at best. Well, you talk about a modern pitching move here. I mean, the days of the platoon advantage kind of over, right? I mean. Swing and a miss. Big out for Peralta. As the Blue Jays lead the bases loaded, but they score one run on two hits and three men left. And Oscar Hernandez walked to start it. He was caught trying to advance on the wild pitch, caught stealing. There's a ground ball off the bat of Curiel. Torres to second, and they drop it. That is not going to be an out because Wade never had the ball. The pitch. Grichuk swings and he lines a base hit into left field. Rounding third, Valera gets the stop sign. The bases are loaded with one out. Full count, one out. Ball four, he walked in a run. Danny Jansen takes a bases loaded walk and you can hear the Yankee fans reacting as they force home another run. Now you got plenty of fastball. Now you got to figure out where you want to throw the fastball here. Again, they've had some success going up and up and into him. Just don't want him to extend and get those long arms on the ball. Ground ball to third. Second for one. Back to first double play. What a pitch by Tim Mazer. Here's Vladdy. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. 3-2. Guerrero swings and he skies one out to deep right field. Judge back at the wall. He turns around. It's gone! An opposite field moonshot from Vladimir Guerrero Jr. His 42nd home run of the season. RBI number 100 for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's the first Blue Jay since 2016 to hit over 40 home runs and drive in 100 or more. Boy, he's bounced right back here in September. 2-2 pitch to Valera. He gets a base hit in the alley. Teoscar's around second, headed for third. Wade's throw back in the infield. He's getting the green light. Here's the throw to the plate, and Sanchez drops the ball. So Hernandez will score as Breivik Valera Ends up at third base on the throw. Another big run for the Blue Jays here in the ninth. Driven deep to left. Fair ball, it's gone. It is off the screen. A home run. Gary Sanchez. And the Blue Jays lead 6-3. to three. Chris Sanchez, his 21st home run, his 50th RBI, and the Yankees trail 6-3. Now see the difference if people went the other way and got on. Pearson will deal 2-2. Swung on and driven to left. It is high. It is far. It is gone. <laughs> Another solo blast. Voigt hits one to Detroit. <laughs> oh, that Voigt is a Detroit. He hits a pinch hit home run. And the Yankees now trail 6-4. Yankees have now hit three home runs in this game. Called strike three, and that's the ball game. Nate Pearson bounces back and strikes out her shell to end it. And for the first time in a long time, the Blue Jays win a four-game series, sweep the Yankees, 